Hello to this important week of the year. Oh God, I hate Valentine's. I'm the Grinch who stole Valentine's, but let's try to do this again. Hi guys, happy Valentine's to you and yours. Welcome to TM Pod. Of course, this is my podcast on Token Moment. And this is the Blue Conversations, which is powered by Durex. Shout out to Durex for holding it down this past couple of weeks. You guys have gotten me in trouble. You guys have gotten my phone ringing nonstop. And today I have with me Neo. Uh, and we are going to be chatting up a storm. Hi, Neo. Hi, How are you? Good. I'm fine, thank you. You know what? We're exchanging today because I realize how naked my eyes feel. I'm not wearing any sunglasses. <laughs> I don't you, mind. I don't mind. You're wearing I sunglasses. Don't mind. I don't mind. Like, that is like my signature look. I always love the, the shades. And then when I walked in and saw you, I just realized, oh, something is missing. I can imagine because me, myself, it's almost like my eyes give out too much. Especially when I'm why, shy, actually, when I'm scared, when it's so many times. So okay. I just I actually just like to cover it up most of the time. I think. I, I'm I'm with you on the shy part. Like when I say these people don't believe me, I'm actually shy. Yeah, people me too. find it really hard to me believe too. that. So when I wear sunglasses mostly at night, it's because I don't want to say hello to a I'm lot of people. You, I want to not, look at you and act like I'm not seeing you. Not you intentionally, but it's just that like, I don't want small talk. I don't like small talk. Exactly. So sometimes I just wear it so that if you're not you're far away, I see you, you see me. Yeah, but we're, we're good. Not exactly. You know just what I mean? Out, so, yeah. But I mean, today I'm gonna go without them. But how are you? I'm fine. Happy thank you. Happy Valentine's. Happy Valentine's. What did you do on Valentine's Day? Absolutely nothing. You're so dry. I'm so dry. So I you just, didn't val anybody? I didn't val nobody. I actually just stayed home, played video games, made something nice to eat, and that was just it. How come? What happened to all the ladies? Um, I don't know. The ladies, uh, I don't know. They want. I feel like they want more than Valentine these days. So Really? Yeah, I think so. Let's, let's unpack that. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, I mean, it, it feels like um, Valentine is no longer organic mm. for me I feel, that's mm. what I feel it's no longer yeah. organic people want to just do it for the sake of oh I'm doing something on that day yeah. not really because you have a significant order that you're trying to do something very I hear important. some people buy presents for themselves Papa, they, they, they rent them you never see it's okay Jesus Christ I shook the pressure is getting worse <laughs> <laughs> no but I, I agree with you on one point yeah. I feel like if every day is not Valentine's Day in your relationship then, then what are you guys exactly what exactly are you celebrating you know, you know? my perfect Valentine's Day would be to, I mean, if it lands on the weekend, mm -hmm. to stay in, lay in, cuddle, yeah. watch our favorite movie, I'm you. eat in bed. If I don't even shower. Yeah. Just stay, yeah, I'm just saying, don't even shower. Just yeah, wake up, stay just there. Just, geez, just be there. I That's swear. what it is for me. Me too. But actually. then lately, I find out that people make it more about the gifts. Oh so I'm God. like, why don't we just call it a gifts exchange day? Pressure. Pressure. And for me, I feel like one of, one of the things I love to do, like, you know, do for my significant order is I always... I like to give you gifts without you asking. Mm. I like to give you gifts without you even thinking it's coming. So mm. when Valentine comes, I'm like, it's, it's just another thing I'll, I'll just do on every mm. other normal day. So, well, yeah. so what is your love language? What do you, because mm. I hear you definitely like to please. You sound like the kind of guy who likes yeah. to please. Yeah, I'm, I'm a pleaser for, for the pleasure. Yeah. I'm actually shocked you're saying this because I have, I, let me tell you what, before you answer the question about your love language, yeah. I'm going to say this and I'm going to be very honest on this yeah, podcast. Go I ahead. don't care how Nigerian men are going to feel after this. I don't mind. 80% of Nigerian men do not know what it is to please a woman. I feel like half the okay. time, I'm being honest with yeah. you right now, mm -hmm. even sexually... This, this podcast is going somewhere right now. <laughs> even sexually, I was having this conversation with a bunch of friends yesterday. Yeah. I'm like, to be very honest with you these days, I find it very hard to deal sometimes because I'm like, what's the point? Okay, I'll mm. invite you over. The sex game is whack anyways. You know, what's yeah. the point? I might as well just use the vibrator because <laughs> half of you guys swear. are all about taking. Nigerian men I'm love you. to take. Yeah. You guys yeah. are all about yeah. even four plays safe when I know they do have oh, God, Do you understand? See, just, please, can I, I? I can tell no before you defend your before you defend <laughs> I your, your, your I want to speak on behalf of Nigerian before men. You defend please. your gender. Let me learn. No, this is what I mean. And I'm sure a lot of Nigerian women are with me on this table. Let's talk. Okay, this hmm. is blue zone conversations, hmm. and it's all about boundaries and things we share with our partners. So yeah. let's talk. I feel like the technicality of sex. I can almost tell what comes up next. You kiss, maybe they rub you your touch. neck, then they touch your boobs. Mm. But even the the boobs, the aggressive, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, time. Not they don't do spend it. time there. Do you understand? They just, they mm. then you and then they all just up. want to get in, no. and get out, no. and then you see the guys say, ah, "That yeah. was good. What was good? Nothing was good. It was too short." <laughs> It was just like it's not even about the length. For it's, me, it's just like you were not intentional. Like, and then the wealthy, the guy, the wealthier the guy is, especially the wealthy oh Nigerian men, the yeah, worst. I feel, I feel like broke sex is 
how am AZ? Because the guy has nothing to offer. Do you know what I mean? But the fact that he's oh my gay, God. like when you're, when you're sleeping with the broke guy, he gives you everything. everything because he's he feels pleasing. like that's the one thing he can offer. But a guy right? that has money, you will just come. That. You feel, feel like as if I'm new, I'm a fine boy. Uh, uh, you should, you should well, be checking out fine boy. Uh, we just talk, mm, just, they don't even mm, for play. Mm, then they just mm, get the deal mm, over and it's mm, over. Mm, defend mm, your gender. Let me defend my gender, right? So me, I'll talk, I'll talk from a personal point of view, okay. right? So personally, for me, I am, I am the kind of guy that I gain pleasure from giving pleasure. That's me. So when it so comes yeah, the down, of the uh, maybe I agree because when it comes down to when it comes down to you know getting you know that's getting it done right. Mm-hmm. I feel like you should even just lay back. Let me let me do what I have to do. Like <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me do what I have to do. Like I gain more pleasure from like no offense, but. I get that, you know, when I'm doing it and I see that you are getting that pleasure, that I'm like, okay, yes, I'm on it. That's where I'm getting but pleasure But I think from. you need to open a school and lecture a lot of your gender oh because God, some of them are like very like, oh my God, they don't share the same. I feel oh like they God. think, they do, they really think it's about pleasing the woman. Yeah. But this is the first time I'm hearing a Nigerian guy actually say, you know what, my satisfaction comes from pleasing, pleasing the you. Woman. Yeah. So let's talk about communication. Yeah. Because I feel like, in fairness, mm-hmm. I know I've said what I said about your gender, yeah, but I also think that my gender also has a role to play. Mm-hmm. Some people are not as verbal. Act- actually, some people are not even, they can be very, trust me, your gender can be very straightforward though. Mm. I won't lie. Some of them don't just even want, just, bro, just get it out and let's just get it over and done with. Mm. I won't lie. Yeah, yeah, I'm dead serious. Some of them can be very, mm, skip all these things because, I know I've been in, I've been in like you know setting you know mm. and I'm trying situations. to like yeah situations you know mm. and I'm trying to like you know get my goal and you know I know I'm getting my goal from you know doing what I have to do you know and then you're like no just just come just come just come come up come up come mm. up I'm like I'm down there you're telling me to come up I'm not even done yet you get me Oof. so let me just finish there and you know know that you are there but you know but some of them just want to like just get it over and done get it mm. over and done with mm. you know and then the thing is they actually take out because. As, say it anyhow you want to say it, but sex is supposed to be fun. It's an art. You know, that? It's, it's supposed yeah. to be fun. You're supposed to be done and the next day you're thinking about what happened. And it's supposed to be so fun that by the next time you have sex again, you're supposed to f- actually forget about what the previous what was one was like. like because I feel like when the next one has to be madder. I feel like when you like someone, yeah. like half the reason why people will say, oh, the sex was great mm-hmm. is because they like the person. Do you know what mm, I mean? Yeah, like when emotions actually, are involved, we, yeah. how many of us come out to say, oh, when I was dating that person, the sex life was really, really bad. We don't say it. No, you know what no, I mean? We always, I think what we, what we call great sex has to do with emotions. Do you know what I mean? Mm, if you like the guy, that's, that's whatever it does, it's not so bad. Even if he's not hitting needs, you know, that's why sometimes they'll say like, look at when boys, for instance, they understand in sucking your toes, no, that's massaging. The thing. Like, that's man the say, thing. Like, the leg you used to work no, all no, day. No, and no, back. You, cannot, you cannot say that because like, I, I, I know for a fact that I have told someone before that, listen, I want to put every single part of me, every single part of you in my mouth. Like, I'm dead hey, serious. Oh, like, so that's the thing. You need to, <laughs> you oh, need to oh, understand Jay. that it's, it's not just, like me, mm-hmm. I feel like for every girl that I have been with, mm-hmm. I always tell myself that, look, I'm not doing it in a way that I'm not trying to be in a, in a relationship with you, mm. and then when it ends, you feel like, oh, thank God, I'm done with that. No, so do you I have make, you have a list I of make, girls who keep who keep wishing they were still. With um, you. I feel like all my exes want to come back. Really? But I'm, because I try, I try to make it look like not even look like I try to make myself, you know, so invested and committed that I make you understand that. Look, by the time you go, there has to be something that you be like, oh my God, if it was new. That it just has to, it just has to be. I mean, mm. and if every man should actually make that something that you say, okay, if I'm going to be in a relationship with a woman, mm. it has to be so good that even if it doesn't work out eventually, she has to just there should just there should just be that part of her mind that would just mm. be telling her that oh God, this if guy. I was still with this guy. Do you understand? So I always tell myself, you know what? You want to date this girl? You want to have sex with her? You want to do anything? Go in there, do it well. Just don't come and be doing no because mm. it's, a, it's a serious thing you know do you have any boundaries in relationships um, what are those things that you feel like are deal breakers for you oh my and god and those things hygiene, that you feel like hygiene you know, hygiene, hygiene hygiene oh my god you, hygiene really? hygiene it's okay hygiene it's okay, hygiene. What kind of girls have you been hanging out with? It's okay, see, when I was in uni, I know say I'm a bad boy. Like, I trust me, people might think you know, he's a bad boy, he's a bad guy, but trust me, I am actually very 
if I'm in a relationship, I like to put it out there because I feel like that's a boundary I'm setting for myself. Yeah. You know, yeah. I like to let people know that, look, I am with somebody. So before you even try to approach me or before me, my mumu man says, go say I want to approach a girl, the girl already know that ah, this guy has a girl. Mm -hmm. You get me? So that's one boundary that I set for myself personally. But for the girls, right? One deal breaker for me, hygiene, man. What do you mean? What, what part of the body smells? Baba, any parts. If there's any single part of your body that I cannot taste, there is a problem. Uh, uh, but some days maybe she has gone out and it's a sweaty day now. Then, yes. But then, you, like, know, like, see, uh, it's okay. you know, see, no be some kind. Hygiene, no be even whether you the bath. Sure, you know. Yeah, if you're clean. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Hygiene, no be say you the bath. Mm -hmm. If you are a neat person, you are neat. Mm -hmm. If you day three, I feel sometimes I did my house two days and I go bath. Nothing happened. I, I'm chilled as hell. Mm -hmm. But you come next to me and you see, you understand that, ah, this guy. Yeah, but sometimes, do you think, I've always wondered about this question and I know it might sound ignorant, yeah. but do you think people who have body odor know they have body odor? Ah, to get that something. I don't know if they know. That's especially the mouth. Mouth because I, I can break up with a guy for that. I can <laughs> never if you have bad polytonic. Especially, <laughs> especially the mouth. That's that's something. But <laughs> but for me, every single every lady I'm with, like I have to be able to taste every single part of you. Hmm. That's just the truth. So I have uh, inside to, down down there has to be smelling like roses. Every okay, and front, pineapples. back, up, down, everywhere Ooh. has to be. You get I have to be able to put my mouth in there because I feel like I'm a good tongue pleaser. I like to say that. I, hey, I don't need... after this video, the amount of girls that are going to be in your DM oh saying, God. Neo! I mean, like, I mm -hmm. gain pleasure from knowing that She's your, your, your legs are shaking. There's something, I'm doing something right. Mm. I'm touching the good spot. And that's the thing, I like to, while I'm having sex, people always say, in the course of having sex, you can't communicate. That's, I feel like that's bullshit. You can actually communicate while you have but sex. But I feel like this part of the world, um, Girls are sometimes a bit shy. Yeah. Because they feel like, you know, you might judge them. So I find that a lot of women, I'm not even going to lie, a lot of women pretend, fake that orgasm. Yeah. When, they, when the guy That's is the done, they bring out their dildos and they do the work That's the that truth. the That's man the could truth. not do. That's but the in truth. there, they just lie. Like, I, I, I've always found myself asking girls, if he's not doing it right, then why, why can't you tell exactly. him? But some of, sometimes, no, you guys don't receive such information very well. Mm. For instance, say, mm. you know, you're mm. doing True. something and it's not getting her off. Yeah. Sometimes she just sits there. I would never be that girl because me, I'll say it. <laughs> but she sits there in silence and she's just like, if she says, ah, oh, you know, the, the guy will look at it and think, ah, oh, you know, mm -hmm. she, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you, you know, some men talk a good yeah, thing. So they be like, babe, I if I just you. handle I feel you. I feel they, you know, they're so sexual while you're yeah. sexting, you know, while you're texting, they sex. Do you know what I mean? It's always yep. like everything's always so romantically. Oh, what are you wearing? Yeah. What are you doing? And I hate yeah. guys like that because at the end of the when it's now time for action, Baba will just. I am like. Uh, I feel is like that it? For for men, right? I feel like there's something they always forget. A man generally, I feel like men tend to tie their ego down to sex. Mm. I'm I'm not like that. Okay. I feel like sex is one of the things that. It should be a plus. Mm. If you come, if you're if you're with me, the sex is a plus. Trust me. Mm. There will be there has to be so many other things that you have to focus and be like. What ah. are those things? <sighs> apart from hygiene, clearly. Okay, apart from clean. hygiene. No, I mean hygiene is for like you know the deal breakers, right? Mm. But for me, like the other things, I feel like if I'm with someone, I I like to make you understand that I know your value when I'm with you. Mm. I don't. I'm not the kind of guy that would understand your value by the time you're out of the door. No, like while you're with me, I learn your value every single day. I let you understand that I know how much you are worth mm. and I treat you accordingly. You talk a good game, new. What are you saying? It's okay. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just, I mean, I'm just being honest. If you ask me, yeah. I'm, I'm screaming. Because <laughs> that's because that's. So that's why, why are you alone again? Because if you have all these attributes, um, why, so why are you single? It's really difficult finding a girlfriend in Lagos. Why? It's difficult because I feel like every single girl that I have met since my last relationship, especially with the fact that I came out of the reality TV show and mm. I had a girlfriend on there, and you well, know, yeah, you had a very public relationship. Yeah, actually. yeah, you know. So moving forward to that, like everybody just, you know, it's almost like they have girls now come with me with a perception. Oh. You know, they already have a perception of me. So it's almost like when you're coming, this is the Neo that you already have in your head. But then you haven't met me. But then you want me to be the kind of person that you think I am in your head. So what I don't is know the if you understand. They have of you? So many things. So many things to okay. like, There are a lot. There are a lot. Trust me. Like there, what? There are like a lot. To there are a lot. Do I they mean, think that you're a nice guy? Um, or do they think that he's a they f boy? Yeah, they think they think some of them want to just come at me for the sex game first. Like I know for a fact that I I've, you know, met someone who, you know, like literally this the next morning the person was just like looking at her phone. Like I I, I just happened to you know see what the person was texting, you know, and so the person was like, yeah. The person was like this guy didn't even touch me. Like, this guy did not even do anything. And then the friend was like, ah, 
that might be a good thing or a very bad thing. Is it straight or is it gay? You know, funny questions like that, you get. So I'm like, the reason why, but that's the thing with me, because people come at me with, girls will always, obviously want to come at me with the whole neo, they feel like the first way they, they can get to okay, me but is I, but I to just offer the sex and everything first. Have you always been very vocal about your sexual um, actually, I, 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 no sexual abilities. I, I don't know. That's the thing. For me, sex is just a plus. It's okay, not so something I put up there. I why the girls and, think of you and all they think about is sex. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's the sex ego or something. Maybe it's the, I don't know. Maybe they just look at me and they just see this Or maybe, sex maybe, maybe some of the something. girls you've had sex with have gone to the street. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. And one thing with me, I don't kiss and tell. But girls kiss and tell. Yeah, a lot of you. girls kiss and tell when they find a good dick. That's one thing I've realized. They, once that dick is good. Then keeping it to themselves is well, bad. It's so bad. No, but in defense, Come on. well, no, 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 no. Let me tell you what. In defense, yeah, I feel like we do that if we're not taking the guy seriously. I oh, feel yeah? like if okay. we're taking the guy seriously, we might not yarn with our friends. Huh? But have I been the girl that maybe I've been with one guy and I've, in my group chat I've been like, yeah, "Girl, yeah, yeah. dialedick.com. Yeah, Do you understand? <laughs> I've been like, "Y'all want to try? I'm not upset. <laughs> That's the number you can call. Yeah. Get your groove on. You know, whatever. And- so maybe they, maybe they're not, they're not looking at you as relationship material. So hmm. then they will kiss and tell. I if you're mean, looking at you as material, they won't really necessarily discuss. It's crazy. And maybe we just maybe one friend and we can be like, ah, this nigga uh, lazy. It, 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 it's, it's, down it's, good. it's crazy and like I always say I'm not I'm not the typical bad boy so I do, have, do you I have feel friends. bad when they yeah I feel you bad like because that. most of the times I, I know I've I've you know met one or two girls that I said okay ah, I'm, let me I would like to get to know this person you know get to just you know understand and you know mm. let's see how it goes but then they're just like you know it's the sex it's just the sex and I'm like once they just get the sex they want something else but then for me I don't like free sex what I'll does that honest. mean I don't like what does free sex mean okay let me not say free sex I like for a man, right? For me, I don't even let me just say for a man. For mm. me, if I work for something, I understand the value. Okay. If I start talking mm. to a girl, take her out, spend time mm. doing all of that, mm. when the sex comes, it's it's a plus. It's, it's a like, plus. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. But then we haven't even started anything, and then it's just the sex you're after. By the time the sex comes, I feel like I might not even want to give you, you get that bored much. after that. Yeah, I might yeah. just get bored. You mm. know. And because most of them, I would just feel like, ah, oh, that's all you really wanted, yeah. you know? So yeah. I might just get bored. Are you a communicator in relationships? Um, okay, um, in relation, people, I, I could be very emotional, right? I could be very, I'm, 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 I, I know people, I've been told, you know. So do you think that people then look at you as weak? Yeah, you know, because, okay, talking from like past experience and everything, right? I'm a totally submissive lover. Oof. Totally. What does that like, mean? Anything your wishes might command. Your wish is my fucking uh, command. I mean, I'm a man. I, I know I have to do what I have to do and do everything. But when it comes to my woman, like like there's sometimes I would just be angry at something and my ex and we just talking like and I'll just be calm. Like that's just how it goes. Like I give you, I let you understand. That's the thing about being with someone and letting the person know that you understand the person's value while you're with them. Mm. I show it to you every single time. Like if we're in a room. I will let everybody know in the room that look, there's nobody else here that is bigger than her. When it so comes you're to me. one man, one woman. No cap, man. So you're not the kind of guy that would cheat on your girlfriend. That's why sex is so hard for me right now. That's why sex is crazy because I know that before I can have sex with you, that's what I was just telling you. Like I need to be able to spend time. I must have mm. invested something. So, so you're not like a one night stand guy. I I can't really remember when last time like a typical one night stand. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's dry, right? I mean, at some it's so dry, dry in, yeah. because I don't want my guys out here doing it in the streets. And then when you wake up the next morning, you have to say, "What's your name?" Where are you going to go? Like, I got somewhere to be. You know, <laughs> it's crazy. It's so wild. Now, yeah. before, before the action, it's we're crazy. like, yeah, vibing, it's and then crazy. after, you're just like, it's crazy. Mm. It's I crazy. don't even let guys spend the night in my house. Oh, I feel like right? I'm just the, get it over the bottom. Girl, by the time I throw on my my no, my my house coats, it's time to go. Yeah. Like I don't want I don't want my staff waking up. I don't want Miss Dooney. I mean to say good morning, sir, to every other person that comes. No, be gone. I know that feeling. I know <laughs> you know that what feeling. I mean? Like I, know what you mean. I feel like it's it might sound cold, but yeah. sometimes it's like, and then again, these days I'm I told I'm at the point where I just feel like I don't even bother because mm. I'm like, dude, I work so hard. When I get home, if you're not distressing me, I'm telling you, if I you don't are not I, I cannot me. deal ah, with you. I would rather shower, put on my favorite movie. Eat some popcorn in bed and ice cream and oh, doze. Eighty percent of Nigerian men, in my opinion, don't know how to have sex. Damn, I feel like they think that's, they that's, do. Man, I'm so sorry. What what what, what are you guys doing? I'm, no, I'm, I'm so, I think oh, that a lot damn. of women also just pretend. Half the time, women come. 
by faking orgasms. Hmm. Most times they fake it. Do you know what I mean? Um, Sometimes they don't. They don't come by penetration. Oof. Sometimes they come by other other means. Do you know what I mean? Deep. And then half the time you're not even trying to prolong the experience yeah. because it's just like it's a wrap. It's almost mm -hmm. like okay, I kiss your neck, I touch your boobs. I, mm. you know, just walk from next, your hand by up, step, step by and step, next thing, sharp, sharp. you feel that he's ready to go, and that's it. And no. when he's done, nigga is like, done, done, done. So, you know, there's one thing I like to do. Oh, my God. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. Well, Mama, share it with us so that other men can learn. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, you know, the funny thing, I forget that I'll be 29 this year. I'm so, I don't think I want to do I'll just be like, oh, mommy's please. I know you haven't seen this side of me, but just, but you know. When, how old were you when you started having sex? Um. Oh, shit. Okay, I had sex the first time when I was 19. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah, I was done with you secondary school. I that's was just waiting bad. for jam. You know, that period we jammed the jam. Do you remember your first experience? Uh, yes, I do. Was it nice? Uh, oh, you guys, let's... I think, was, I, I think almost was, everybody's first experience. I mean, funny enough, before, before my first experience, right, a girl tried to rape me. No cap. Older yeah, girl? An older girl tried to rape me. I mean, I, I, I was abused as a child. Like, yeah, I, it's yeah. Actually, and you're the first guy who is calling it what it is. Well yeah. done. Because I, I sit down with somebody of my guy friends and they're quick to say, I was a bad guy. My first experience was my sister's older, my older sister's friend. Yeah. I was 16. She was 25. Yeah. And they're bragging right. I'm <laughs> like, that's not bragging. You were molested. Yeah, I, I was. Like, even when I was smaller, like when I was like six, seven, like, I remember vividly, very well. There was a day I got back from school. My mom was so busy that period. My mom was the water. Um, my sister was, you know, up and about. I got back from school. It was just me at home. So there was this other girl that she was a she was a caretaker for the next building. And um, I go back from school. Normally, they would just I just obviously know how to make my noodles. Just throw it in, throw it in, throw the spices and put it water and just put it on the, on the stove. And she was the one that was supposed to always give me the key to the house because mm. obviously no, the old no, obviously no one be home. How old were you then? That's, I don't remember, but I was in like primary, I was probably like primary two. You were something. making noodles for yourself at primary two? Yes, it's okay. I've been think... cooking. No, trust me, I've been making noodles for a very long time. I mean, yeah, I got. Wh wh why would your parents trust you with the stove at primary I've two? Cook, I cook right now, you know, right? I've been cooking since I was a child. I'm just two things to say I said doing age, very maybe early. You were not yeah, as maybe, young but, as yeah, because I really were. can't remember, but I was yeah. really young. So I remember that day. She, she okay. She will always help me turn on the stove. Okay. So she went with me into the kitchen because uh -huh. that's what it happened. Yeah. And the next thing she was like, ah, yeah, back from. Oh, so how are you now? Take off your shirt. So I took off my singlet and then she was just locking the back door and then she just sat and she just asked me to come. Yeah, she just asked me to come and then she just put my head down there and. What did you know to do down there? Yeah, I didn't just know what to do. It's okay, but then I remember that it tasted like bad lime. Oh, so you started thing. eating it. Yes, I said. Yeah. <laughs> It tasted like bad <laughs> life, it's okay, it was bad. bad. So bad I feel like that's why, when it comes to hygiene, like, if I it's, go it's down... It's trauma. Like, it's it's a trauma yeah, it's a, from there. Oh my God, it's because a it's trauma. Because it's crazy. You know the funny thing? You know that shit is real. Your it's first experience real. at eating the coochie, Yo, it tasted okay. like bad life. It was, it was, it, nah, I don't want to, let's, let's skip that. It's, it's done. But yeah, that's, it, it is what it is. It's so funny how the things we go through, you know, from places where we don't even remember, mm -hmm. have a huge part to play yeah, it's crazy. in our adult life right now. Because really the first crazy. thing you probably do once you have the opportunity to please a woman is to check that the smell is not mm, bringing back Ah, no. It has, yeah, God have mercy. It's okay. Like, see, let me tell you the truth. Like, if I am... It, it's, it's as bad as... It's as bad as when I'm trying to like, you know, like I said, I have to be able to put every single part of you in my mouth. Yeah. It's okay. If I, if I put my tongue in your ear and I taste wax, stop it. <laughs> stop it. If I, I mean, I like this. The ear is very sensitive when it comes to women. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be able to play around. Because you were about to tell us the things that said you should share with us. <laughs> you know, I, I want to hear it. it it's so crazy. So other men can learn. So it, it's crazy. Like you know, kissing, like kissing a girl. You know, in the mid, in the middle of you know trying to get it. You know, I mean, you're done with the lips. You're going straight to her neck. Mm -hmm. It's only important that you go to the ears. Like mm -hmm. hold her by the back of the head and just pull her close and just you know say something nice to the ears and then just put your tongue in it and then roll it out. But so I'm saying, ladies, if make I, sure you clean your ears. You have to clean your ears. Like, I mean, twice, every, twice, twice in the week. I mean, like, to Monday, Tuesday, clean you. After taking the shower, just, mm -hmm. you know, you never can tell where mm -hmm. you'll be, you know? Mm -hmm. So if I just put my ear and I taste wax, I mean, it has happened to a lot of people. Many people will not say, but in the midst of you, in the middle of you putting your tongue, like you taste the wax. Bro, no, stop it. One thing I fear about tonight, and because I'm the kind stop of person it. who likes to wear mm -hmm. perfume at night as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I have like nighttime scents. Mm -hmm. I'm a huge it's, perfume. It's freak. okay. It tastes but doesn't bitter. it taste bitter? Yeah. 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 So every time it's a guy okay. is, is, That's okay. is no, trying to lick on my I, neck, I'm like, understand. I'm sure no, that perfume will, scent is bitter. That's the thing. You will understand it. 
you will get to understand that it's a perfume and you will taste that it's bitter, but not when it's tasting like something that shouldn't be there. Like salty. Oh my That's God. That's like sweat. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I realized that recently, like when guys try to talk to me, they're quick to ask me things like, are you into girls? Oh, I was saying this to Bolanle okay. the other day because Bolanle is my Bolanle, sample. Yeah. I said to Bolanle, Bolanle, I think we are boring. Oh. I think when we're quick to say, no, I'm not into things like that. That's why these niggas are not that interested. Do you know what I mean? Mad. Like lately, people want to be with people that they have, they can bring their demons to. No. Like bring well, your yeah, demons, yeah, I bring yeah, my yeah, demons. Actually, let's know, this is what you're into, this is what I'm into and let's explore together. <sighs> I don't know if people communicate okay. enough. That, I don't know, people come, I'm sure they communicate enough but you see that, that whole, what you just said right now? I'll bring it to like, you know, per, let, me, let me personalize it for mm. a minute. Um, I feel like I'm such a jealous lover. So you never into twosomes? No, I've never had a threesome. Okay. Never. I'm such a jealous lover. Like, I cannot even imagine whether it's two girls with my girlfriend and, or whatever. I know feet. Mm. I can't. I know feet. Like, my, I have never just been able to wrap my mind around Yeah, but will you date like a that. girl who tells you that she likes, like, she likes... You know, to explore. Yes, exploring is great. Mm. Yeah, we'll be able to explore. Maybe I definitely I might be able to try one or two with you mm. because of the fact that I know that we are, you know, very committed and everything. But it's not something that will come from me. Yeah. Mm. Nah. I feel like my fantasies build up gradually, gradually mm. with the person I'm with at the time. You know how people can be so, oh my God, I want you to eat me everywhere. You get what I mean by eat me everywhere? The back door. Everywhere. Hey! Do you understand? Okay. So, I remember the first time that, you know, yeah. You forget about it. Yeah, yeah. That I remember, you, you, yes, you I remember pleasure. the first time. Oh my God. But don't like, tell me she wasn't clean. No, no, no. no. Uh-huh. That's, the thing, that's, the thing about, that's the thing about sex for me. Like, I must have been able to study you. Because it's not something I'll just make it happen then. I hate, I hate regrets. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I feel like I like to live my life without regrets. Mm-hmm. And one of the worst things is to regret sex. Mm. So, so let I me get this story right. The girl was into that and she told yeah, me. Yeah, she was like into did. that. She was like, she, she, she just, it happened so quick. Mm. And I was in the moment. Like I said, I will please you. Don't worry. Let me just okay. like you. I will please you. So I'm like, all right, cool. It's fine. You know, right. a lot of women don't even know that they need to be pleased. Is that bad? I'm because sorry, some people have been raised to feel like sex I'm is sorry. one of the things that you just give nah, to a man. No, no. A lot of people, the way, you know, tradition, moral, whatever the mm-hmm. borders are, the way women in the past and I'm thankful for this generation where yeah. we're having conversations like this yeah, of, yeah, of people Durex, actually opening where we can actually talk. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because people always felt like some certain things shouldn't even be shared. Uh, Do you yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you find that a lot of women just believe that their mothers raised them to believe sex is what you give to your yeah. husband. There's or nothing just, about you to want to, to enjoy. Get it's about him. And everything. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I did you sleep with your husband? It's never did he sleep with you. <laughs> Do you know it's what I mean? Really it's always did you give him sex? It's never did he give you yeah. sex? Yeah. Like they almost feel like as women, we're supposed to be receivers. I mean, you receive yeah. the semen, you mm-hmm. turn it into a child. Yeah. So it's never really about, oh, I, what you have can you been, receive. It's more about yeah. what give, you can give, 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 yeah. give, 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 give. Mm-hmm. And many people have lived a life devoid of sexual happiness actually. for lack of a better. They don't even know what it means. Yeah, so actually. when they sit with their girlfriends and they find their girlfriends talking about exploring mm-hmm. this kind of thing you said, yeah. they're almost prudish because it's almost like, ah, mm-hmm. you don't say that, mm-hmm. you don't do that, yeah. you don't. And I'm like, listen. These are conversations you have I to tell have. girls, yeah. even with yourself, you need to get to know your body well yeah. enough before another man gets to know you. Like I said, I remember there was this girl I was trying to be with back in uni. Um, I feel like that was the biggest turn off in my life. It was so bad. Like, what did she have so on? the first time I invited her over to my place, then she used to stay in the school hostel and everything. I was off campus. And then I invited her over to my place. Um, I had my keys with my security, so she let herself in. You know, I went to church and then came back. So that afternoon, I was just, um, I was trying to like warm mm-hmm. something. I, you know, for school, I nobody really get free. Mm-hmm. So you could put warm up. So I was just trying to, I was in the kitchen and then she was like, ah, she said, she, she, she raised her voice from inside the room and she was like, I'm waiting for you. Yeah. So I kind of understood what she meant, you know. Well, was, she was naked already? Yeah, she was naked already. I mean, women she really like, objectify you, I'm, man. I'm they waiting. Just... She was like, I'm waiting for you. No, at that point, I wanted it from her. No offense. Okay. I'm not going to lie. So I was like, awesome. So what I was trying to, because I just got back from church, I, I was trying to just get something quick to eat. Mm. But then it had so much spice. And I knew I did not want to exactly. So you put pepper in No, so I did not eat at all. I just turned off the gas and covered the food and whew, 
I had to mm. go there because I was like, if I eat this thing, I won't be able to like, you know, mm. get get it on. Mm. So she was all, you know, all ready in the whole, you know, she was just laying gorgeously on my bed and I went into the restroom, into the restroom and then I just took a quick shower because I actually just go back from church, took a quick shower and while I was even taking the shower, it's almost like my body was just telling me, guy, hurry up, hurry up before this mm. girl would just, mm-hmm. you know, do exactly. So I just sharp, sharp, only for me to dive in. They just imagine going with all the ginger, like, oh my mm. God, mm. I did do quick, quick, so I go catch up with this girl, you know. I just reached there to care. Oh, God. What was it? It's okay. It was one of the most difficult things. Have you ever, like, for the first time in my life, I felt like that was one of the moments I was so rude. I was like, you know what? Just stand up and dress up. Ah. I swear to God. What was it? It's okay. It was bad. The smell. It was so bad. What, between her legs? It was so (gasps) bad. It's okay. It was, I was like, you know what? Just stand up and get up. And the truth, the truth is, I'm saying this with my full chest because I know that none of my ex can come out today and say, see, if I open down there, no worry, you want to go, you like, it tastes like, what's, what's the candy? What can I say? It's, come on. It tastes sweet. So I expect only the same. Like, mm. so I was like, you know, just, so you know, one of those guys that wear boxers for like four weeks. Boxers for four. It's okay. I only wear white boxers. I don't, I don't even wear colored stuff. Mm. Because you have to know. I like a clean man. Because I, I imagine that, you, you know, have we, to know, the same way guys complain that women can have a nasty scent, women also complain about guys Men that have na- yes, that's sweat, fine. your balls are sweaty. Yeah. You know, some of them... You don't shave. Yeah, some of them even have like, what's that, skid marks on oh, their box. It's crazy. <laughs> Another thing, I feel like guys should not wear boxes for more than eight months. Eight months is even too long. When you're wearing, when you're wearing for eight months, I mean, you're probably wearing it once a week. Mm. You have a lot or you're probably wearing it once in two weeks. Mm. But you should so be... how often should they wash their boxes? For We're trying now. to educate people. So how okay, often all right. do for you instance, wash your boxers? I'm, I'm here with you. I'm and probably going to go out later at night, right? You change into another Of course one. I change into another I, one. I get that. Twice a day if you have one or two places. So to you eat. change twice or three times a day? Yeah. But how, how often do you, do you wash it daily or do you wash it every two days? It's okay, you wash it daily. Okay, it's just that's all I want to know. I don't know anything. Like, sharp, sharp. Okay. All right, so let's do two truths and one lie. Um, Durex Performer contains a special lube called benzocaine inside the condom, which helps the man in delaying his climax and prolonging excitement. That's one statement. Another statement is Durex have condom variants that can treat STIs. Hmm. And the third statement is Durex has a variant that gives you a skin-to-skin feel. Ah, so fun. there's two truths in all of the statements yeah. and one lie. Which one so is I a lie? Really lie is the second one. Which is what? Um, the one that has to do with direct something about STDs, curing STDs. Okay, you're that's, correct, my friend. Yeah, you're, you're correct. That's <laughs> annoying. Well done. <laughs> but definitely, we're going to give you uh, the direct variants that gives you a skin-to-skin feel. Mm-hmm. So when next she says, take it out, you're like, nah, nah honey. Yeah. Not, not many people get me speechless. But in, in this conversation today, <laughs> you've had me in stitches. <laughs> I've been like, what? What? Been, what? What? But thank what? you for your honesty. Oh my God, you're going to get into so much trouble with this. Shout out to you, Durex. And of course, shout out to all our viewers at home, everyone who streams on all the platforms out there. You guys rock. Thank you so much for making Talk at Moments what it is. My name is Talk at Makewa. I'll chat with you on the next episode of Talk at Moments.